are moving straight on to the first bout of the evening. This is an amateur A-class bout, fought over three, three minutes at a catch weight of 68 kilos and proudly sponsored by Sensei Physiotherapy. Your first fighter, seven into the cage and fighting out of the blue corner, Cal McCulloch. And his opponent stepping into the cage and fighting out of the red corner, Dan Graham. Gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter, fighter out of the blue corner, weighing in at 66.1. He's 18, stands 5'8". He fights out of new life, Jim and Hills from Glasgow, Cat McCulloch. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 66.7. He's 31, stands 6'2". He fights out of Sukona Karate and Hills from Catrick. Dan Graham, your referee, Mr. Trevor Mitchell. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Unity Fighting Championship. I'm Rob Nutley. With me calling the action is the legend himself, Mr. Ian Freeman. Ian, always a pleasure. And you, Rob, looking forward to this. 16 fights tonight, and here we go with round one. The taller man, Dan Graham, standing at six foot two. Oh, what a nice takedown shot underneath the jab. Nice outside trip, half guard now. Kyle in top position. Well, Graham, Graham's first fight, the nerves will be there. McCulloch has had one fight, unfortunately he lost. He wants to get the win on this one, but he allowed him back up just to get a double again. He's got his hands clapped together. Yeah, McCulloch there didn't quite sprawl. He seemed to just sit really low trying to keep hold of that neck. Doesn't seem to have Carl in any real danger there, though. He's not linking the hands, not looking to link the hands, just sort of controlling the head there. I'm sure Carl will be able to push himself free. McCulloch actually has his hand trapped. You see that Graham's leg is bent. He's sort of sitting on top of it, kneeling down on his backside, and his arm is trapped in there. Now it's free. That's well spotted. Difficult to see from our position. Oh, he's tucked the back. He needs to get the hooks in. There's one and two. He's got both hooks in. Not quite the position he wanted. Oh, Graham's turned him. Beautiful work. Taller man in top position. Yeah, maybe the taller man, Rob, but he's also got the longer limbs, which will be a lot easier to armbar. It's great when you're on your back with long limbs because you can use those legs to triangle. But when you're on top position, 
Those arms are long, easier to armbar. McCulloch tried for the ankle pick, missed it, nice jab. Cole trying to break down that distance. The range of Graham. Yeah, Graham's very long, isn't he? Look at the reach advantage he has. Nice kick to the body as well by Graham. Yeah, Carl clearly needs to close that distance. Oh, nice leg kick. Strong, powerful. I like the guard as well of Kyle McCulloch. Nice and high. Not letting a lot get through there. Again, goes shoot. for the double. Picks him up, needs to get to the side because he's caught in a guillotine. And what I mean by that, for those who are listening, if you pick someone up and you land in the guard in the guillotine, you've got the unfortunate task of trying to fight out of it, but if you move to side control when you're caught in a guillotine, it's very rare that the guillotine will actually go on. Yeah, There's Graham. the 10 seconds. Graham just linking his arms here, trying to keep the, the neck nice and tight. But McCulloch looking for that takedown, trying to drag his man from the cage. Well, a good round, good round for both fighters, to be honest. The takedown attempt, though, by Kyle McCulloch. I think he might have scored on those because you've got about two or three at least in that round. Yeah, giving a lot by way of range. The taller man, Graham, using his legs really well during that fight. But again, McCulloch shutting it down using those low kicks. Trying to break down the taller man. Yeah, Dan Graham needs to use that reach advantage. And what I mean by that as well is not just to hit his opponent, but he's got to keep on the outside for when McCulloch shoots. The further away he is from McCulloch, the better it is to defend that takedown. That's a great shirt there, Sifu, a.k.a. Dad. In the corner of Graham there. Back to the action. Kalluk trying to land that right. Fainting his way. Closes the distance. Graham's coming in with heavier hands now. That's a lot better work. He still range. needs to watch his distance though, Rob. I noticed that when he started throwing with power, he got really close to his opponent. And as we've seen, McCulloch just wants to get the double. Turn the corner. And there's to the side. That's exactly what I was explaining. Get to the side control, you're in a lot less danger. Graham has one leg in. He's going to try and put him into full guard. Good half butterfly. Pulling that leg up high. Controlling the shoulders and the back of McCulloch. Well, he could go for a go-go partner with those legs. And what I mean by that, you pull that leg over the top of the head of McCulloch and underneath his chin, and then you pull the head down. It's kind of like a, a choke with your shin. Go-go partner. Nice. And he has the flexibility by the looks of it. Yeah, certainly got the limb length. That half bar fly, the leg across the back, just controlling McCulloch. Not a great deal of action, the referee will look on closely. Even though Graham does seem to be in a position of control, it's not a position of finish. Yeah, McCulloch's now stepped into half guard. Be nice to see some more ground and pound from McCulloch. Yeah, I think he's just trying to find himself a position. But again, Graham using that leg, coming up high, controlling the back and the shoulders. Making it very difficult for McCulloch to posture. Well, it's all Graham, even though he's on his back, he's actually working harder than McCulloch. Very much in control, the heel on the hip, the leg controlling the back and the shoulders. I just wonder how the judges are going to score this part of the fight. 
because Dan Graham is working really hard from his back. He's controlling his opponent, he's throwing the strikes, and now we have McCulloch free. Oh, he dropped back to the floor. That He just missed. I think he might have caught the end of his nose there. And that was enough to make him go down. Last ten seconds of this round. McCulloch knows he's got to do something to score. Nice little clip in left. Graham fires back. Sound of the bell. Again, another close round. You could, you could argue the fact that Kyle McCulloch won that because he was in top position for the full round. But again, like I said, Dan Graham was working really well from his back. He did control his opponent, and he's thrown more strikes. Yeah, the more dominant fighter for me as well. As you said, he only had the, the control of the match. You, uh, and at no point was he really in trouble from anything McCulloch had on the ground due to being in that position. So, as you say, it'll be interesting. To yeah, very interesting. Because I think in round one, I think McCulloch might have took the first round with the takedowns. And possibly Graham took the second with the control on the ground. And there's Dan Graham looked across to his opponent and faked the sprawl and shook his head as if to say, no, you're not going to take me down this round. I think Graham just needs to commit a bit more on those strikes. Nice low kick there by McCulloch. That was really nice. Set up with a left uppercut as well. Really nice work. Gets that distance closed. Great sprawl again by Graham. Again, sitting on that army and that we saw in the first round. But McCulloch now trying to he was going to try and go for Mount there. Going to try and do the Habib Nuramagomedov type clinch around the legs with his own leg, but decided to go to side control. See Graham look to the sky, take a deep breath, start to move. Well, there's an arm triangle. I think Graham's realised that. Push the head back down. Yeah, he's trying to keep that elbow low. The McCulloch leg fighting, trying to get over to the other side of the body. He knows that's where he wants to be. Not enough room there, though, with the cage. No, definitely not, Rob. I think he... Nope, he's got mount position, though. Now, will he posture and strike, or will he go for that arm triangle? Probably feel it. Yeah, yeah he's, going yeah, he's got it. it. He's got it. Oh, oh it's free. Oh, now oh. he's going to strike. Needs to cross face. No, he's free now. Yeah, that was definitely a decision he made there. Yeah, wise one as well. Controlling Graham from the mount position, firing well, shots. Well, a fighter has to intelligently defend himself, and there's a few shots getting through there, Rob. Big shots getting through. Trevor Mitchell, our referee, is watching very close. The long legs come up, and Cullock does a good job. Leans forward, keeps striking. I just feel if McCullough just carries on strike and the referee will stop it. He's going to go for an armbar. You can see his backside shifting to one side. Decided to go against that. Yeah, Graham's giving it to him. Keeping that right arm. Sorry, that left arm. My apologies. Well, sometimes you have to fake an arm. You give them the arm just so they go for the armbar. Oh, great work, but he got caught with two big shots. Out the back door. And McCulloch again working, gets that take down. Oh, he's caught in a guillotine, although he's in a half guard, he's not going to get it from that position. If he fell in full guard, it might have been a different finish to this fight. McCulloch put pressure on the elbow, pull it down. There we go. Final 10 seconds. Again, McCulloch coming down with big ground and pound. Oh, what a great fight to start off this evening. Certainly was. But Kyle McCulloch, I think he's solidified the win by that great ground and pound here in the third round. Yeah, for me, 
An official scorecard, one and three for McCulloch, and round two for Yeah, Graham. without a doubt. I mean, some judges may give him all three there. Um, obviously, it depends what the judges are looking for. I mean, I have heard judges say, if you're on your back, you're losing. But in that scenario over the second round, I think Dan Graham did absolutely fantastic control in the fight from the ground and good striking. But yeah, a good win by Kyle McCulloch. He gets on the winning score now. He was zero on one. He'll go to one on one. Fighters to the centre of the cage, please. Fighters to the centre of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four round, we we'll go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this in favour of your winner. In the blue corner, Cal McCullough. Please show your appreciation for Dan Graham.